ready for some more bad news for Justin Trudeau. Uh, we got something very, very interesting here. So Main Street has posted a poll. And I, to be fair, I do believe Main Street is more of a, like a right-leaning pollster. But that being said, this information here is very, very interesting. It's very good. And it's really funny. So latest Main Street poll modeled have liberals winning zero seats in Ontario. Now, again, that's bold to say that that's going to happen. But when they break it down here, Northern Ontario, 7 nothing for the Conservatives. Inner Ontario, 28 for the Conservatives. Ottawa, 6 nothing for the Conservatives. Suburban Toronto, 14 nothing. Toronto, 17 nothing. Peel Region, 12 nothing. Waterloo, 12, 6 nothing. Oakville, Hamilton, 8 nothing. London, Essex area, 7 nothing. With the NDP getting a few seats here and there. So the total for this model would be the <laughs> Conservatives at 105, Liberals at 0. NDP at 16, Greens at 1. Again, this is a very bold thing to come out and say, but that being said, it is possible. All the strongholds that he had in Toronto, which is basically, you know, the only, maybe some writings in Ottawa too, but these these cities are basically the only places where Liberals have any chance of winning. And it looks like they're going to get swept. Now again, very interesting thing to see. It, it's there is still a possibility, of course, that the, the Liberals win, you know, two or three seats you know, in Toronto, maybe one in Ottawa or something like that. But that being said, it's also possible they lose everything. People in Toronto are pissed. They've already lost stronghold liberal uh, liberal ridings in or the recent by elections. And if that trend continues to happen, you could very well see Ontario go blue and then a little bit of orange. Now, if you think that's funny, (laughs) just watch this. So we have another post here. And again, it's from Main Street. Liberals, zero seats west of Quebec. Zero seats. Now, that's not surprising in in Alberta and the Prairie provinces. But even considering that how much of a stronghold that the Liberals have had in some ridings in Ontario, I do think they get a few out west, but not very many. They're going to get swept across the board, and it very easily could happen. I mean, it's, it's kind of insane. Let's see if they can we can uh, make this a bit larger here. Greater Toronto. I mean, look at this. There's a little bit of orange, and it's just blue. It's just a, a sea of blue, basically, and it just makes me so happy to see this because Canadians are waking up, and it's about damn time, to be honest with you. But yeah, I mean, go Calgary, of course, nothing. Saskat- Saskatoon, Regina, nothing. Winnipeg, Edmonton, Lethbridge, uh, Victoria, Greater Vancouver, nothing. It's just a sea of blue with a little bit of orange in it. Now, no one likes to see the orange either, but let's be honest. The Liberals are going to get what they deserve. I was also playing around with a simulator that 338 has. So I'm going to just... Um, basically, what, what, what this is, is the... There's a slider here that allows you to change like how much each uh, party is going to get per vote. And my prediction is that the Liberals are going to you know, go down to at least 20%. I actually think it's going to fall below that, but there's no option for that because they basically just do the like the low averages and the high averages. And then they do like a, a simulator for the election to see how many seats each party would get. So the Conservatives, I'm going to bring up to 46%, which is the max. Again, I think it's going to be even higher than that. The NDP... Move them up to, say, around 18%, close enough. And we'll move the blocks around about 85 400%. So the PPC at 2.4%, the block at 85 Greens at 4.1%, NDP 182 Conservatives 46 and the Liberals 20.8%. And let's see what we have here. Get seat projection. 253 seats for the Conservatives, 18 for the Liberals, 24 for the NDP, 2 for the Green, and 46 for the Bloc, making the Bloc the official opposition. And I'll be very honest with you, I know 250 sounds like a lot of seats. I think it's going to be that. I I really do think that they're going to get there. I also think they're going to get more of a percentage of the popular vote than 46%. Again, just my opinion, but I have a feeling that Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives are going to get around 50%, which would make this an electoral landslide, right? I mean, 
253 seats is just dominating. No other party is going to get 50 if that happens. And the Liberals, I can't even remember the last time they had 18 seats. But it's very possible this happens, especially with the earlier, uh, the earlier information about the Liberals potentially losing every single seat in Ontario. Now, again, like I said, it's bold. Main Street is a little bit to the right. Um, that being said, even Nick Nanos did a poll the other day. <laughs> and what did that poll show? The NDP and the Liberals basically tied. Well, this is pretty close to that. The popular vote, Liberals get a little bit more because they're going to have concentrated votes in you know, cities like Toronto, potentially winning some of those ridings, but they still might lose. And wouldn't that be great to see Toronto go blue? Maybe we can start having a little bit of respect for some bigger cities if they actually start to vote with some good intention instead of just, well, Pierre Polyev's mean, I don't like him, so I'm going to vote for a guy who's destroying the country. It's nice to see that people are waking up, and I'm sure a lot of you guys agree. Um, let me know what you think in the comments section. Do you think that this this uh, projection that I just, uh, the simulation that I created here is, is accurate? Do you think the liberals will get more than 18 seats or less? That would be really funny too. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I always enjoy uh, engaging with you guys. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.